Eat the Pictures is a bite-sized movie podcast. Every week we look at the ways different movies from classic horror to rom-com use food to tell stories on screen. Food unites us all. Let's explore it piece by piece on Eat the Pictures. Stay hungry. I'm Al John Go, podcaster and producer of the Disney List, Skull Rock Podcast, and Dining at Disney. When you're creating content, podcast, webcasting, live streaming, or wanting to step up your video conference calls, you need quality gear and accessories. That's why I use Gator Frameworks in my studio. From professional broadcast boom arms and microphone stands, studio monitor speaker stands, ring light kits, headphone holders, elite furniture studio desks, and acoustic wall treatments, Gator Frameworks has you covered. Gator is the leading brand of cases, stands, and support system solutions for music, pro AV, creative pro, IT, and general utility industries. They have over 1,000 different solutions made from vacuum-formed plastics, rational molded plastics, wood, sewn, and EVA materials. Leveraging their expertise in case design and manufacturing, Gator has a complete OEM division that works with leading companies around the world to engineer and create custom cases for original equipment manufacturers. For more information, visit GatorFrameworks.com. Product provided in exchange for promotional consideration. This is Kat from Dining at Disney, and I'm here with Kristen, who's going to tell us about some incredible adventures by Disney travel deals. Yes, right now, Adventures by Disney has their land adventures on sale. Now, you have until August 8th of this year, which is 2022, to book, and you can save up to $500 per person on select departures from March 10th of 2023 through March 31st of 2024, which that is amazing deal. And you have a full year that you can, you can do that too, that they have this promotion going on. So yeah, you've got till August 8th to book. So, and where can they reach you to book those incredible vacations at theme parks and cruises at gmail.com. From the Gator Framework Studio in Music City, it's the Dining at Disney Podcast. You know the thing about good food? It brings folks together all walks of life. You'll discover all the best restaurants and food as you hungrily explore the Disney parks. Let's do this thing! The Dining at Disney Podcast with your hosts, Kristen Hetzel, Bubba Alvarez, and Kat Arcori. The Dining at Disney Podcast. I am Kristen, and with me is Bubba, Cat, and producer Al John. Today we are talking about food news. And if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe wherever you find your favorite podcasting platform to be. Okay, so let's dig in to some foodie guides. Let's start off with talking about the Father's Day treats. Okay, Bubba. Yes. So Father's Day is this Sunday, June 19th. So at Walt Disney World Resort, they will be doing a lot of uh, extraordinary pastries, um, bringing out their creativity to some of the other, uh, you know, dining entree platters. So start getting ready, start making those reservations if you haven't yet. So we're going to talk about some of those. We're going to start off with Epcot uh, over at the Regal Eagle Smokehouse draft or craft drafts and barbecue. So on Father's Day, and this is some of these are available through mobile order like this right here, the All-American Dad Platter. So this is a Memphis dry rub ribs, sliced Texas beef brisket, North Carolina chopped smork chopped smoked <laughs> pork butt and garlic toast and your choice of side i'm sorry but uh, you were breaking up can you repeat that again please yeah sorry, <laughs> just sorry. Joking, just joking. Uh, you, want me, you want me to try that again okay let's try this one take more time two. take two the all-american dad platter memphis dry yeah, no no i'm just joking about that it's just joking. About say. It's, yeah, but yeah smoked pork butt that's that sounds delicious to me um at La Cellier Steakhouse. Am I saying that right, Kat and Kristen? My yes. French is a bit off. Uh, this is available June 17th to, to the 20th. Slow roasted prime rib beef with au jus, creamy horseradish, and truffled fingerling potatoes. Um, and then on also available June 19th at Sunshine Seasons, apple peanut butter tart with cinnamon crumble and chocolate mustache with the chocolate mustache and also a toasted coconut cake with the mango chutney filling and buttercream grass 
So who wants to talk about Disney Springs? Cat? Cat. Okay, that one. Away. Disney <laughs> Springs uh, at Amaretz, our favorite patisserie through June 17th to the 20th. The I Am Your Father Petite Cake Red Velvet Cake. <laughs> so awesome. Stilling, dark chocolate mousse and white and dark crisp pearled. It's got a Darth Vader on it. We literally were just talking about Obi-Wan, y'all. <laughs> yes. I am what you made me. Yes, a delicious cake. <laughs> a delicious cake. Come to the dark side. We've got cake. Come to the dark side. We have cake. Welcome to the jungle. We've got lots of cake. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> uh, at Jack Lindsay Tanger Bar through the end of the month, they brought back bacon of doom. Yes. Dark chocolate covered bacon paired with the Colonel Screwball peanut butter whiskey. Or right white creme de cacao. We Ooh. love peanut butter of doom. But I mean bacon of doom. Oh, it's, it's it's so pretty. It's so good. Peanut butter of doom, I would enjoy that too, but bacon of doom works. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it sounds Kristen. delicious. Yes. Yes, if you head over to All Star Movies, All Star Music, or All Star Sports at their food courts, which are world premiere, intermission, and end zone, you can enjoy a roasted prime rib. It's an oven roasted prime rib with mashed potatoes, roasted asparagus, baby carrots, and red wine demi glaze served with a Caesar salad. You can get this the 17th through the 19th. Also available is Father's Fatherly Moment. It's a fudge brownie and caramel with pretzel and buttercream frame surrounding uh, iconic fatherly moments from The Incredibles and The Princess Frog. Very this cute. is only available, you know, available through June. And then if you head over to Art of Animation at Landscape of Flavor, they have a braised short rib, braised short rib with this spicy rum mushroom demi, charred baby carrots, asparagus, and potato pavé. That's available the 17th through the 19th. And then for dessert, they have a s'mores caramel stuffed cookie. It's a, a chocolate chunk cookie loaded with a toasted marshmallow cream topped with a crunchy cinnamon graham streusel and drizzled with dark and white chocolate. <laughs> Available Sold. through the 19th. Sold. And that I want. It sounds so, so good. They, they Both of good. those things sound delightful. I know. I want some more of that. I want some more of that. <laughs> <laughs> bad, bad jokes. Dad jokes. Oh, sorry, dad jokes. Happy Father's Day, dad jokes. <laughs> uh, Beach Club Resort over at Cape May Cafe. Uh, available the 19th for breakfast only is Dad's Beachside Bloody Mary. It's a loaded Bloody Mary with absolute pepper topped with shrimp, candied bacon, celery, green olives, and a lime wedge rimmed with Cajun seasoning. Wow. Yes. I don't drink regularly, but I love me a Bloody Mary, y'all. <laughs> Especially when you put all the other stuff on top, makes it even better. <laughs> would you like it's a like little a Bloody Mary with your breakfast? Yes. Would you like some? Yes. Ba- would you like some Bloody Mary with your bacon and shrimp? Yes. Right. yes. <laughs> oh my gosh! Doing the, guys, I have to say, doing the show even right after dinner really, really makes you hungry. No matter when oh, yeah. when you listen to the show. I'm always hungry. Anytime we talk about all these guys, it's like, it's impossible. Yeah, I was, uh, lis- I was listening to, a. I did a Steve's show, Monterey Tales, when I went to, uh, Avengers campus and I listened to it the other day and I said the exact same thing. I said, when you listen to our podcast, Dining at Disney, please do not come with a full appetite because you're just going to want to eat constantly during this. You want to eat your phone. You was, cause we're just so hungry after the show. We're we're completely hungry, and right. I'm already hungry right now. I'm ready to eat. Look My phone Christmas doesn't taste far. very good. I don't know about oh, yours. <laughs> but it's just, yeah, I'm the same way with you, Aljon. Just True. my stomach started grumbling. <laughs> and just like with this, so let's go over to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, the Center Town Market. This is mobile. The, the mobile ordering is available here. The Ropa Vieja with Maduras and Cuban style rice. Uh, Cuban style beef with uh, beef stew with rice and plantains available through the 17th to the 19th. And you can also get that Father's Day s'more. I believe that we just talked about. Is this one a little bit different? Oh, it is different because oh, yeah. it ha- it's uh, topped with milk 
graham cracker cake with milk chocolate mousse infused with bacon, chocolate mirror glaze, and tossed with meringue garnish and more candied bacon. Oh. And that is also available through June 19th. That's s'mores and bacon. That's Oh, wow. And then at Spyglass, uh, the Father's Day s'more, it is the same one. You can get that also. Once again, at Spyglass, mobile ordering is available for that uh, through June 19th. That Disney Contemporary Resort Contempo Cafe from the 17th to the 19th. The Father's Day fudge brown, bacon fudge brownie, brownie, fudge brownie, chocolate ganache, caramel bacon and chocolate crisp pearls at Coronado Springs Resort and Toledo available on Father's Day. You can get the Father's Day brulee, a bourbon ganache, vanilla cream brulee, fresh berries, and a chocolate mustache. Mm. That sounds nice. Um, and I, if this is the one, this looks really good on the picture. My dad would love this just by looking at it. Oh, yeah. Over at the Disney Old Key West Resort and Disney Saratoga Springs uh, Resort and Spa in the Good Foods and Go the artist palette, the whole in one, which is a fudgy brownie. Yes, I said fudgy brownie filled with caramel and pecans topped with cheesecake glaze Oof. and a white chocolate ganache and a white chocolate golf ball garnish. Wow. Talk about a whole in one. Man, mm. what, a <laughs> what a winner. That oh, good. Boy. Oh, these are yeah. so good, oh, guys. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, these are. Awesome. Who wants now to talk about the yeah. Disney Polynesian Village? Who wants to talk about the their next trips? one? Wow. Um, yes, at Disney's Polynesian Village, June seventeenth through the nineteenth at Kona Island and Captain Cook's. Uh, mobile order available at Captain Cook's only. Uh, Dad's favorite snacks tart: a chocolate tart, coconut macadamia topping. Dad's favorite snacks: potato chips, Snickers, popcorn, and M and M's. Rum chocolate caramel sauce and chocolate dipped bacon piece on top. This is gluten and wheat friendly, y'all. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this looks so good. That's insane. It I looks it. delicious. Oh, so cute. I'm obsessed. All right. These uh, photos. Century Resort. Wait, what? These photos are amazing. Oh, I know. Oh seriously. Whoever is their food stylist right now is earning their money. Yeah. Yes. Okay. At Pop Century Resort, everything pop shopping and dining is offering the roasted prime rib, oven roasted prime rib, mashed potato, roasted asparagus, baby carrot, and red wine demi sauce served with Caesar salad. And the s'mores gourmet stuffed cookie, the chocolate chunk cookie loaded with toasted marshmallow cream topped with crunchy cinnamon graham streusel and drizzled with dark and white chocolate. Those are both available through the seven, through the night. Excuse me. I, I just, I mean, I want one of everything. Yes. I want two of everything. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so over at Port Orleans Resort, French Quarter, and at the Riverside at Sasagula Floatworks and Food Factory and Riverside Mill Food Court, mobile ordering available, you can get the sweet and spicy barbecue rib pork ribs with sweet and spicy barbecue sauce, cowboy beans, corn on the cob, and coleslaw. It is available on the 19th. Also, you can get the Father's Day Cheesecake Brownie. It's a brownie topped with peanut butter, cheesecake garnish, and whipped ganache. And M&M &M mm -hmm. minis available through the 19th. Oh, this looks good. Over at okay. Disney's Riviera Resort at Le Petit Cafe, the 17th through the 19th, they have a milk chocolate ganache tart and a bourbon pairing. Okay, Park Hopper John and Park Hopper Sid would be all about this. It is a milk chocolate ganache tart paired with the father of bourbon, Elijah Craig small batch Kentucky bourbon on the rocks. Oh, that looks beautiful and very delicious. Wow. Gorgeous. I like so the presentation in the picture for that. Yes. It just looks yes. so beautiful. Very decadent. Yes. I'll take one of everything. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Next, we are talking about the latest foodie treats that you can get at the Disney parks. And there are so many delicious things to look at here. So I know it starts off uh, um, with, let's see, Paradise Garden Paradise. Grill. Bubba, yeah. you take it. 
Yeah, we actually talked about this a couple weeks ago. They just broke out this menu without telling anybody, but now they're officially talking about it. So, yeah, Paradise Garden Grill, uh, which is uh, California Adventures. It's a nice little hangout spot, nicely shaded. It's a great spot to just hang out and enjoy the scenery and people watch. Uh, you can get the Kansas City style barbecue pork ribs with house made barbecue pickles and onions and the North Carolina pulled pork sandwich, which has creamy coleslaw, crisp jalapenos, pickles and onions. The St. Louis barbecue rubbed chicken in a beer brine, half roasted chicken with pickles, all onions up with that and you can choose your side, too, with any of these options. You have your choice of the poblano mac and cheese, the chuck wagon beans, potato salad with bacon, creamy coleslaw, andouille sausage, and the jalapeno cheddar cornbread. Um, for beverages, you could try the peach cobbler cocktail with moonshine, peach schnapps, and peach cinnamon puree, or get a Pabst Blue Ribbon. So nice, good old PBR, Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. Um, and then this is what's cool. If you got your family with you, they have a family family platter, uh, the family picnic platter, which comes with that barbecue half chicken, pulled pork ribs, andouille, oh, pulled pork ribs, andouille sausage, poblano mac and cheese, chuck wagon beans, potato salad, talked about with jalapeno cheddar, cornbread, pickles and onions also, but you get a dessert with this and you get cherry cheesecake and great for the whole when I go back to the park next time. So look for that review. Um, so you can talk about Cat at Red Rose Tavern, what they got going on. Yeah, at Red Rose Tavern at Disneyland, we'll be featuring a new late night menu. Uh, I don't know what late night means. Let's see. Uh, from 8.30 fourth, fourth, fourth to meal, Fourth meal. <laughs> uh, daily. Uh, the plant-based Bonsoir chili cheese poutine includes a hearty plant-based chili, shredded cheese, cheese in quotations because it's plant-based, and seasoned waffle fries, while the classic poutine has slow-cooked beef, gravy, cheese curds, and spiced pickled red onions on top of those waffle fries. And lastly, the firelight flies, uh, fries, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> tiny spiced chicken and pepperoncini ranch sauce on ranch seasoned waffle fries. Those sound really, really good. I would eat all mm-hmm. those. So and then across there at, at Harbor Galley by Haunted Mansion, you can get soup in a sourdough bread bowl, clam chowder, steak gumbo, or the plant based vegetable gumbo, which I really yep. enjoy. And the muffaletta salad with cured meats and cheese on mixed lettuce with olive tapenade, garden mira, pepperoncini, and Italian dressing with sourdough bread. I love a muffaletta. Um, and then they also have a little drink that is, of course, non-alcoholic because it is at Disneyland. Uh, the Pelican Punch. I would eat every single one of these things. That never happens. I would have everything. One of everything. Hey, Kat, you broke up there with Pelican Punch. You want to describe what it is? Did I? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry. Right. Um, it's a chilled tropical blend of pineapple, coconut, and lime. Mm. Yes, I'm in good. 100% on that. Yes. Fantastic. Kristen, oh, tell yeah. us some more about Disneyland. Okay, at New Orleans Square, you have Royal Street Veranda. And there they have some plant-based options, including the Hop and John Impossible Royal Wrap. It's a seasoned plant-based meat. With rice, black-eyed peas, cheddar, lettuce, and Cajun dressing in a spinach tortilla. There's also the street steak salad. This has a chilled steak on mixed greens with cherry tomatoes, blue cheese, candied pecans, and fried onions with a horseradish dressing. And to end your meal, you can get a blueberry fritter with a uh, blue sugar and lemon curd dipping sauce just for you. If you like salt and straw over in downtown Disney District, they've got some new flavors there too. Um... Let's see what they're calling the picnic series. It highlights picnic theme flavors inspired by popular summertime eat, including watermelon, fried chicken, and cherry pie. Wow. Fried chicken ice cream. Wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Welcome to Salt and Straw. The watermelon sorbet is really good. I recommend it highly. I love, I love a watermelon sorbet. Oh, it's I so good. Yeah, it's like watermelon and sour cherry. It's delightful. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, Bobby, you want to tell us about what's going on in Disney Springs? Yes, uh, a lot of frozen treats. You can. This is actually pretty cool. Cool um, at Swirls on the Water. You can get the Buzz Lightyear Star Commander Cone. It is a purple cheesecake soft serve adorned with chocolate wings and space sprinkles. So, that look, it, but it looks really cool. The picture that they posted, like that, that's pretty cool, especially with Buzz Lightyear coming or Lightyear coming out in a couple of days. Um, it's also, you can get a Dole Whip float featuring Rosa Regal sparkling red wine, uh, Dole Whip strawberry. And a fresh strawberry slice. Ooh, Ooh. I like the sound of that. Yes, Give please. That. Um, and then over at uh, the Magic Kingdom, at uh, the new Zerg Freeze can be found at Auntie's Gravity's. And yeah, Auntie Gravity. That's a huh. I get the pun. <laughs> 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 Auntie Gravity's Galactic Goodies starting. Um, I believe today or tomorrow uh, till the end of June, it is a perfect treat to reward yourself. It's not giving a description though, unfortunately of what the Zerg freeze is, but yeah. (laughs) Hmm. Okay, we're so just gonna, I, we're just I gonna go. <laughs> go ahead. I just have to say that I have never realized I haven't ever like put anti gravity. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Am I gonna have to I edit this have out? No idea Are you why? Serious? I've never... Kristen, yes. <laughs> Am I gonna have to edit this podcast? No. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm sorry. Just... I, I understand me. Yes, you know, I'm not I don't I haven't been there, but Chris. And we're done, folks. <laughs> that's all. That's all, that's folks. all folks. Oh. oh my god. I have no idea why I never I never put that together until Bubba said it. Because <laughs> I was reading, I'm like, oh, that's that's a clever name. Yeah, it is. So okay, back to the show, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew that was coming. Okay. Uh, Kristen, sorry, Kristen, let's a cat talk about what's going on at Epcot. <laughs> I was trying to find out what's in this anti gravity's whatever, whatever, but it's not even the on their Zerg, menu. But it looks Zerg really freeze. good. It's got this popping boba on it at the very least. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Epcot is featuring some items over in the land garden grill and sunshine season a barbecue roasted chicken with sweet and tangy oh. barbecue sauce as well as Southern style spoon bread are both available at Garden Grill. And a roast beef sandwich with chilled roast beef, chimichurri aioli, cheddar, arugula, and red onion on a flour top Kaiser roll served with potato chips uh, at Sunshine Seasons, as well as a plant-based option, the Mediterranean vegetable salad, which is featuring roasted red peppers, red onion, tomato, arugula, hummus, and balsamic vinaigrette on herbed focaccia. Uh, also new to this, to Sunshine and Seasons, is the spicy fish taco with fire roasted corn salsa, creamy jalapeno peri peri sauce, and radish served with plantain chips, my favorite things in the whole world. That sounds right up my alley right there, that spicy fish taco. You guys, taco. can you tell that it's summer? There's barbecue on every single menu right now. Oh, I know. Yeah, plus, awesome. um, plus, awesome. is yeah. plus arugula seems to also arugula. be in season. <laughs> Summer, it's in season. That's right. Oh, okay. So full disclosure, Coral Reef restaurant really bothers me because they serve fish and you have to eat it in front of the fish. But <laughs> <laughs> we have added oh, Have you ever been to Red Lobster before? <laughs> You're eating lobster oh in front of the lobster kid? tank. No. When I was a kid, I refused to go there. I was like the lobster liberation front. I was like, we can't, I can't do it. We can't do it. Can't do it. Fish no, no, friends, no. not food. Uh, exactly. Oh, um, but they've uh, added a trio of seasonal dips with fresh vegetable crudite and crisps or New England clam chowder to their menu. Um, they also have an orange glazed sustainable salmon served with vegetable stir fry and shiitake sticky rice, or a Cajun chicken pasta with pulled Cajun spiced chicken, Parmesan cream sauce, roasted mushrooms, peas, peppers, and onions. So if you can't eat fish in front of fish, they do serve chicken, which is good to know. Have I told you guys that Kristen actually told Donald that I ate duck in front of in front of him? That's true. I did. I did. 
Oh no! And Donald's like my favorite guy. Like, wow. He's my favorite character. Oh, no. like, you can't totally tell Claire Bell that he just can't tell Claire Bell he just had a cheeseburger. Oh no! Like, That's true. Oh. <laughs> She'd be like, "Get out!" <laughs> oh, oh no! We're gonna go have some fish and chips and ride the aerial ride, kids. Yay! I'll be like, "Oh toodles, get me the heck out of here!" <laughs> Bye. <Bye-bye. laughs> oh man. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh. I can't wait till our little girl realizes where hamburger and steak come from. Let's never tell them. Oh. Because she loves, she loves cows. Because you can see cows, like, on our yeah, they're delicious. Drive to course. and from <laughs> cows and goats, and <laughs> at least for now you can until it gets sold and somebody builds an, another neighborhood on them. Yeah. But th- you see all these cows, so she's always like, "Mommy, mommy, I saw two cows." Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> uh, I know Taylor refuses to eat veal. I don't eat veal either. I don't eat veal because uh, I was eating it as a child, and my mom decided to tell me at that moment, I can't believe you're eating veal. That's a baby cow. <laughs> Have never been able to eat it since then. Thank so you, Debbie I will Taylor. Not, I will not traumatize my children that way. <laughs> and if there are kids listening no. to the podcast, we're just, you know, just a heads up there. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, we're just joking. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert where your food comes from. But it is delicious. I'll give you that right now. These are not the cows you're looking for. I mean, okay, where we, we just talked about we, we just talked about escargot on the last show. Wait till you find out what that is, kids. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. No, you're gonna be time, time out. You're actually gonna be hearing about escargot in the next show. Let's let's make sure. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh okay, cool. Future, All right. Future, yeah, in the next show. Sorry, the next show. Yes, yeah, sorry. Theater of the mind. I got Theater my of the mind. Theater of the mind. Over at Hollywood Studios, if you head over to Hollywood and Vine, you can enjoy. They have a welcome back buffet that's going on August 28th, where you can meet your favorite Disney Junior characters uh, for breakfast. And then Minnie and her friends at lunch and dinner. For breakfast, they have a brioche French toast with banana foster sauce. There's salmon and bagel casserole. And a plant-based frittata with tomato jam. Uh, they also have a plant-based mushroom farro risotto, slow-roasted crispy pork belly with guava glaze, and a shrimp and bacon mac and cheese. Then to finish it off for your dessert, you can get a Mississippi mud pie, or they have a PB and J tart oh. yes yummy yum oh these next ones look good okay so mama melrose restaurante italiano over there they have fried fresh mozzarella with marinara sauce ricotta uh salata and lemon oil there's also a grilled bone in pork chop oh. Oh. it's served with creamy polenta roasted tomatoes mustard vincotto and charred broccolini uh for des- uh Oh, they also have a Mama's Italian pasta. There's a sustainable fish dish as well. And then you want to save for dessert because they have a mini uh, cannoli trio, Colors of Italy cheesecake, Mama's cookies to go, and a blueberry frangi... I can never say this. Can't help it. Brand there Japan. you go. Frangipan. Yeah. Frangipan tart. Yeah. <laughs> but You're I good. want the mini cannolis because I love me some cannolis. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, these, they look delicious too. Wow. Okay, Bubba, you want to talk about over at the West Resort? More brunch coming your way. So the brunch service will be available starting on September 1st with the reservations opening very soon. Uh, and they will have it. Yes, you heard every single day. Um, so like you can get the southernmost buttermilk fried chicken and the Papa's hash and uh, the loaded Key West Bloody Mary. And for dessert, you can enjoy their uh, new offering. One of the new offerings, the banana bread pudding. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, that is a features Bohemian banana rum syrup and coconut whipped cream with your choice of bacon. Yes. Sausage. Yes. Or ham. Yes. I would just get all three and <laughs> be sure to give it uh, some of that uh, nice island vibe flavor. Uh, also, if you're going to uh, Disney World at the world premiere food court at Disney All Stars Movie Resort, you can find the box office cupcake, which is a yellow cupcake filled with caramel and topped with marshmallow buttercream and a p- peanut pretzel popcorn brittle. Ooh, that's fun to say. Uh, also at the food court, uh, they will have the rock and roll cupcake, uh, another yellow cupcake, but this one is with peanut butter buttercream and topped with banana panna cotta and candied bacon. And the end zone food court uh, at the all star Disney all star Springs will be serving the MVP cupcake, another yellow cupcake, but this one is stuffed with apple pie filling and topped with buttercream baseball and <laughs> with that buttercream baseball and caramel popcorn peanut crunch. Uh, mm, wow. I love how all of the cupcakes match the theming of the resort of the resort. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's oh. cool. Awesome. Awesome. Pop resort, uh, Pop Century Resort, uh, you will get the flashback creme, cream pie, yes, sorry. oatmeal raisin cookie sandwich filled with marshmallow cream topped with dark chocolate and Ooh. cinnamon glaze. That sounds delicious. Pop goes the banana cupcake, <laughs> another yellow cupcake, but this one is filled with caramelized banana in a cream pastry topped with caramel latte buttercream and yummy, yum. Yum. If you take another tr- back to the art Disney art of animation uh, resort, I don't know if we talked about that yet, but the le- at landscapes of flavors, they have the lightning McQueen gravel road Sunday featuring soft serve vanilla ice cream with chocolate cookie crumbs, chocolate sauce, and the lightning McQueen chocolate coin. Ka-chow. <laughs> and then ka-chow. And then at the drop off pool, bar you can get uh the blue big blue ocean which is made up of sved vodka bacardi superior rum bowls blue curacao and minute made premium lemonade served in a souvenir with a souvenir glow cube or the sea foam refresher which has malibu coconut rum bowls blue curacao and pineapple juice garnished with pineapple that is a summer drink for you right there Mm-mm-mm. read Hmm, I think I would probably go with the big blue ocean. Probably. Yeah, big blue ocean for me also. Yeah. The other one sounds a little too sweet for me. Mm, yeah. Plus there's only, there's not even, I mean, uh, there's light alcohol in that one compared to, you know, Sved vodka. That's true. I like a little, I like a little bit stronger. <laughs> okay. And on to our last topic. The last topic. We are talking about Disney's Enchanted Recipes. Uh, This cookbook came to us from Inside Editions, and it is a beautiful book, uh, very princessy on the front cover, and it has a picture of soup served in a pumpkin. So you can guess which princess this is. <laughs> Once upon a time. So when you open in a galaxy this- far, far away. Oh, sorry, no, 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 no. Oh, sorry, that's Star Wars. <laughs> so the contents of the recipes are like grouped. So you have the princesses, old world cu- cuisine, global cuisine, Wonderland, and other fantasies. Mm. And then they also have in here. There's things like the equipment that you'll need. This is what you'll need. Yes. Yes. It's there's like an instruction also, manual. Uh, <laughs> in the back, there is a de- uh, description of all the different herbs and explaining those to you. Throughout the book, you'll also find some tips in there as well. Wow. Uh, it's a beautiful full, full color book. Um, did, did either of you ever see the Pirate's Handbook that they came out? Like Jack, was it Captain Jack Sparrow's Handbook? And it had like that parchment paper yeah look to oh, it no. so this book instead of being the glossy pages it has the matte finish pages and the colors that they use in this there's nice contrast so like the outside has like a dark border and then there's some color and <laughs> with it it's got pictures of the different foods it's a beautiful book and they're all very well themed so like they've got 
creme de la creme a la Edgar from Aristocats, which is a cream of Jerusalem artichoke with nutmeg. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, so many, they've got sugar mill beignets. You got to show some of these pictures to them so they can see, you know. Princess uh, Tiana's gumbo. Mm -hmm. And Jack Jack cookies. Ooh, I would want to make some Jack Jack cookies. See, it's got got the really nice matte finish pages to it. And the photos in it are are amazing. Um, like my, I mean, look at this. You've got pages just that feature the recipes. Um, just wow. beautiful layout of these dishes. It look. It reminds me of that uh, cookbook you have from Jamie Oliver. Huh? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's really a beautiful. I, I love this one that they did for, um, the spaghetti and the meatballs from, uh. Lady in the Tramp. Oh. So do you have Tony's restaurant? And it's and it's got like the same tabletop, you know, the checkered tabletop with the candle and some pretzel sticks on it. Um, so some of the recipes that you can enjoy include other than the ones that I've said, uh, they do have ratatouille recipe in here. Uh, they have Big Hero Six, they have Aunt. Uh, Cass's wings, it's spicy chicken wings. Oh, they got a cronk recipe, cronk spinach puffs. <laughs> nice. There's even yes. Treasure Planet. <laughs> yes. Uh, ben Special, no bake Oreo cheesecake. I mean, you, I mean, movies you don't typically see recipes for, like Zootopia, hops cake, carrot cake, hops um, carrot cake. Yeah. Oh, touch and make popsicles or something. With it. <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> I, I Ooh, want to that make this good, pumpkin soup just because the picture mm. is so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. This nice. is a, this is a gorgeous book, but it's also very thorough and wonderful recipes there. Yeah. It has the name and then underneath the recipe name, it tells you in the book, like what it is. So like, it says Mother Gothel's soup, Goth- Gothel's soup, and then it tells you that it's hazelnut parsnip soup. At the top of the page, it, it says that it's uh, from Tangled. There's a little description of it, and then you have, of course, your list of ingredients along with the recipe. But it even tells you like the difficulty level, the prep time, as well as the cook time. So if you if you enjoy cooking. Or even if you enjoy looking at cookbooks, like this is one that you could buy just to look at, even if you weren't going to make anything out of it, because it just it's such a pretty book. I have to say, I think it's it's one of the most beautiful cookbooks. I, was, I really I really like what they did with this one. So I haven't got a chance to make anything out of it. I have marked things in there that I need to make, though. Like They even have Little John's Spicy Stew. Yeah, it's a yeah. four oh, sorry, hour beef John. and vegetable stew. <laughs> right, wrong Little John. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Other little John. I was thinking the right. same thing when you said that. That's the first thing that came to my mind. But I mean, the picture for Ratatouille looks oh, that's like beautiful. what they made in the movie. Wow, it is. That's exactly yeah. what, what, what Remy made. Wow. So uh, this cookbook is, uh, the author of this is the bald Villanova or Villanova. I'm not sure how she's that, but it has... 40 recipes that are Disney and Pixar inspired. Um, So if you are all about your Disney movies and you like to cook and you want a beautiful looking cookbook too, with a lot of delicious sounding recipes, I highly recommend getting this cookbook. We will have the link to our Amazon affiliate below in our show notes and you can go ahead and get this right now it's available and uh, support the show by getting it through our amazon affiliate link yes well we hope you enjoyed today's show all of our delicious discussion about foodie guides as well as our review of disney enchanted recipes if you haven't already make sure you like and subscribe you can find us on Anchor or any of the other amazing podcast platforms out there. Um, If you find us on Anchor, there you can support the show and be a donor or what were you, what did you say we should do? Oh, you're you're a producer. A producer. 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 Uh, For as little as 99 cents a month. Uh, You can also shop our links over at diningatdisney.com. We've got the Disney Store, Amazon, 
and Garden Grocer. So you can do a little shopping while you're checking out the website. Bubba, do you want to tell everybody where they can find us? You can find us at DiningAtDisney.com. Also, all of our social media pages, Dining at Disney on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. I mean, just type in Dining at Disney on Google and you'll... There we are right there. And you'll be able to listen to us wherever you are. You can find me on Instagram at big underscore Bubba underscore B. And where can everybody find you, Kat? Well, you can find me at Catastrophe at C-A-T underscore A-S-T-R-O-P-G. For your travel needs, you can contact Chris at ThemeParksAndCruises at gmail.com. Um, Make sure to check out some of the great podcasts, including the Disney List with Kristen and Al John. WDW Park Hopper, the Park Hopper John and Park Hopper Sid, Disney Parks Podcast with Tony and John, Skull Rock Podcast with Al John and Dave Bossert, and my podcast, Eat Pictures. Uh, for Facebook fun, join our friends at Disney Dorks, the Starks Radio Fun Zone, and don't forget to join the Dining at Disney Facebook. There's lots of fun things happening over there. Yes, and coming up soon, we will have a special guest. We will have Todd and Michelle Strobel from Traveling Around Disney to talk about their amazing dining experiences on Disney's Dream. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that episode. Until next time, I'm Kristen. With me was Bubba, Kat, and producer Alton. Bon Appetit. The information and opinions expressed in this podcast are for entertainment and informational purposes. All other trademarks mentioned are the property of their respective owners. Skull Rock Podcast, talking all things Disney, with your hosts, Al John Go and Dave Bossert. Do you just love to learn more about the magic that embodies animated films, theme park attractions, and more? The all-encompassing universe created and produced by the genius of Walt Disney has spanned nearly 100 years in counting. From his earliest film endeavors with the laugh cartoons and the Alice comedies, to the creation of Mickey Mouse, to the first animated feature film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and then dreaming up Disneyland, Walt Disney continuously raised the creative bar, and today his company has carried on that tradition as a global entertainment juggernaut. I'm Dave Bossard, artist, filmmaker, and author. And I'm Al John Go, musician, podcaster, and radio guy. Every week, Dave and I will explore the entertainment galaxy that is Disney with insightful conversation, stories, and special guests talking all things Disney. Listen to never-before-heard stories and behind-the-scenes moments from some of your favorite Disney films, theme park attractions, performances, books, music, and so much more from knowledgeable, insightful, and thought-provoking hosts and guests. Hear the latest news about Disney past, present, and future. Skull Rock Podcast is your go-to source for the magic we all love. Skull Rock Podcast. Visit SkullRockPodcast.com.